Hi, I'm George and welcome to part three of the Nova series. Now in this episode, we're going to have a look at a couple of flights we did with the rocket. And the night before, we actually ran some simulations to try and figure out how much water we need to use. The optimal amount turns out to be about 900 mils. We then took that and put it into open rocket to try and figure out what the stability is going to be like. Normally that's not an issue with a fairly large nozzle where the water clears out of the rocket quite quickly, but because Nova uses a small nozzle, uh, that heavy water stays in the tail end of the rocket for longer, causes it to be unstable. And for that reason, we actually switched to 700 mils uh, that Nova was going to use. Uh, it just meant we were going to have a better stability margin. Uh, and that, I think, cost us about five meters in overall altitude, which is totally fine. But yeah, anyway, let's go have a look how those flights went. Today was a beautiful day with no clouds and no wind. Perfect conditions to fly high. Before flying the Nova rocket, we wanted to fly the new deployment mechanism on one of our regular bottle rockets, just to make sure that it actually worked. We printed an adapter for the top of the bottle so that we could mount the mechanism. Then we just filled it with regular water like we always do and screwed on the nozzle. We set it up on the launch pad. We even put a camera on the side of it so we could watch the parachute deploy and started pressurizing it. What's the objective? Testing a new deployment mechanism. New deployment mechanism. One under. Will this be on your YouTube channel? Yes. Oh yes. No, I'll be on his channel. George, George, of course he still uses. Don't you hate it when that happens? Thanks to the UTS rocketry team for this great shot of the explosion. The top bottle blew most likely because it was old. We really need to get some new bottles. The entire nose cone was destroyed, but thankfully all the electronics survived. So here we are, we only have the one other deploy mechanism with us, so we'll just have to test it on Nova's first flight. We opted for a smaller parachute to reduce any drift. If this thing was going to go off sideways, we wanted to make sure it came down a little faster. Packing the parachute was really easy and the smaller parachute fit comfortably in the nose cone. When pouring the water in, it was a little tricky because of the small nozzle. Water would just go in and bubbles would come out and that would also cause a lot of the water to spill over the sides. We filled it with 700 mils of water and a little bit of shampoo. Then we loaded the rocket onto the launcher. Now since the rocket doesn't have any rail buttons, we used our Horizon Tower launcher to hold it in place. Then at the launch pad, we hook up the hose. A little bit of water enters the hose, but when you turn on the air, the water is blown back into the rocket. Because we really didn't know what was going to happen on that first flight, we decided to wind the pressure back a little bit and launch it around 300 psi. So the rocket's potentially going to be unstable with such a small nozzle, and we don't know if the parachute's going to come out. Okay, George, it's just about ready to launch. Hmm, great, let's do it. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Parachute's out. It's deployed. Oh, beautiful. So let's see that from a few other angles. The rocket flew beautifully straight and the parachute deployed right at Apache. Two, one, go! Uh, simulations here predicted that the rocket should go to about 712 feet at this pressure. 
So it looks like the foam again gave a really nice boost to the rocket. So that was 940 feet on 300 psi. While the winds were still low, we set the rocket up again on the pad and we changed the deployment delay to 7 seconds. And then it was also pressurized to 340 psi. Okay, and launching in 3, 2, 1, go! What you don't trip on any wires, Paul. The rocket again flew beautifully and the parachute deployed again right around Apogee. The simulations again predicted about 830 feet for this pressure, so yet again the foam gave about a 25% increase in performance. So at 340 psi, it says 1057 feet. So that's the Nova rocket. Now uh, the nose cone did crack a little bit when the rocket landed and that was because it landed on its tail and then fell over and, and maybe hit a rock or something. Now that wasn't too unexpected because PLA is quite brittle so we're going to have a look at reprinting it in ABS or maybe PETG and maybe also strengthen a couple of the different uh, sections of it. Now we've just about reached the altitude limit for this rocket at this park uh, because going any higher, there's a higher chance it'll drift into someone's backyard and we obviously want to avoid that. So the next time we're going to launch this is at our high power launch site at Malayli uh, where we'll be able to increase the pressure up to that intended 400 psi. Uh, we're also going to mount a camera in the top of it. So if you've got any questions about the rocket itself or the construction techniques, please leave them in the comments below. Now, in the next video, we go back to part 25 of the Horizon series, so you can see what progress we've been making there. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.